Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I'm not going to put on my tinfoil hat, but I will tell you that I do believe at the very core of my being that we are not alone in this universe. Have we been visited by extraterrestrials? That I really don't know. Is there stuff that happens in our world, if not universe, that we can't explain? Absolutely. We don't know everything about everything. But it just would seem to me uh, that, uh, you know, this existence couldn't. I just can't fathom it being limited to just us. So who's out there? How do we know they're out there? You've probably heard of SETI the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. And I'm, I'm hoping we're not the only intelligent creatures in this universe, because if that's the case, wow. And, and that's not to say that we're all that intelligent. You don't have to look very far to, to see something stupid that's happening, this video notwithstanding. So if you didn't realize, uh, and, and this has been happening for quite some time, you, can take part of the search for extraterrestrial intelligence uh, by using your computer. I, did you know you could do that? Did you know that Locker Gnome has had a SETI team for ages, pretty much as long as it's been available to us? Uh, if you want to join us in our search, we basically you know, use our computers, and in their downtime, instead of running a plain old screensaver, it's crunching data. And it's, it's using, you know, this wide array of, of uh, connected computers to see if we're receiving any potential signals that aren't natural signals uh, from the cosmos. Because we believe, well, at least the scientists, the people who know a hell of a lot more than I do, that if extraterrestrial, oh, sorry, I'm damaging my city of Atlantis, not to the Lego city of Atlantis that I just talked about in an earlier video. Boy, I was just talking. You want to talk about tinfoil. So when we're searching for things, we're thinking, well, they're probably using primitive technology to communicate with us because that's really the, the lowest form of communication, easiest way of sending a signal, you know, across this wide expanse of space, you know, just sending a radio signal, a broadcast. And it's just, it's audio, you know, it's, it's something that's, potentially not naturally occurring in the universe. And SETI is uh, it's still moving forward. Uh, and as Go212, or I'm sorry, Go t 21 c says in the live YouTube feed, ET still needs to phone home. His mom is spazzing out. Uh, yeah. Did you know TV aerials are still picking up radiation from the Big Bang, says 15 Butcher J. I can't confirm that. Uh, I am not... Anywhere near an astronomer, astrophysicist, phys I passed physics with a B minus in high school, but I would ask Fraser Kane or possibly Phil Plate, uh, you know, two fantastic uh, people who know so much more about this uh, than I would. But I just think it's it's interesting to ponder. You know, are we alone in this universe? I don't think we are. I I, I genuinely do not think we are. Uh, Algernon EP says, Chris, my wife thinks you're funny. Well, maybe we should stop the search for intelligent life and just look for funny life. That would be awesome. I'd fund that. <laughs>